Hi guys, uh, this is Dr. Marwa and uh, it gives me immense pleasure today to introduce to you Dr. Swati from Bengaluru, uh, the high-tech city I would call it. So the stage is all yours, Dr. Congratulations on an excellent rank. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Uh, uh, so um, I, uh, I'm Dr. Swati Ramakrishna from ASI Medical College, Bangalore, and I have secured a rank of 21 in uh, INICT. Yeah, you have the look of relief on your face, actually. <laughs> getting over with it finally I, yes, I, sir, it's I been know. a long journey so <laughs> exactly exactly most i think most of the guys were really frustrated with all the postponements so everybody was like i need to get over this i need a closure and uh, finally you have yes, a closure sir. that's that's excellent okay doc so yes, uh, we yes. we would like uh, you to tell us and the viewers regarding the two weakest subjects of yours we, we're going to do a rapid fire kind of a thing. So, which, um, I mean, inherently you are okay. afraid of. Okay. Okay. I think biochemistry and surgery. Okay. 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 So, from the first prof and then, you know, subsequently in final year. Yeah. I mean, some things we doctors are inherently, I mean, we always have weak spots. So, which are the, your strongest mm -hmm. ones, doc? I think uh, medicine and uh, micro. Oh, great. Oh, great, great. And uh, I mean, you know, uh, I think this time paper was, uh, uh, I would say a balanced paper. I would not say that it was an easy one because there were a lot of tricky options. So like what mm -hmm. tips would you like to give to the future aspirants to reduce the negative scoring? I mean, how did you approach that? Yes, and how so many I attempts think... did you, I mean, how many questions did you attempt? And like, what are the tips to reduce the negatives? Sorry for interrupting you. <laughs> Yes, sir. So um, I think uh, on the first go, it seems like the paper was easy and it looks very simple. Only when you go back and see that the options were really tricky. And uh, and I, but compared to last time, I do think it was a little easier. Okay. But yeah, and I I I attempted one ninety nine questions. Mm -hmm. 199 okay great 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 yeah. so like i mean you know were you not afraid that okay i am attempting 199 and negative marking might pull down my score because i've had a lot of queries people yes. attempted most people attempted like 160 to 180 and you did 199 so i mean hats off yeah. to you but then at the same time i mean you know were you not afraid <laughs> that something so, no actually last time i attempted 180 questions and i got 800 Okay. So I felt like that was a mistake. So I had to learn from that. So okay. So uh, the we have to go big. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That that's what I was. You you actually came up with that. You have to take risks and you have to at the same time. Yeah. I mean, you have to go big. So big hitting is definitely yes. required. Uh, yeah. def definitely, definitely. Dr. Swati has a very valid point there. So uh, the next mm -hmm. one would be two hacks to keep focus because distractions are so many, sources of preparation are so many. So how did Dr. Swati keep her focus on for all this long duration? Yeah, I think so it's just consistency and discipline and okay. just uh, doing it every day and it's, it's just so consistency. Okay, so how many hours for you crunching every day? I think uh, around six to eight hours consistently and towards the end, it's uh, around 10 hours. Okay. Okay. That's all inclusive of multiple choice questions as well, or is it like only theory part? Yes. That... Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. So were you doing questions daily or is it like once a week GT or customer? No, no. Questions I would do every day. It's very important. And from the very beginning, since I started my preparations, I've been doing MCQs every day. There are days where I don't study, but there are, I don't think there's any day that I haven't done an MCQ. So. Exactly, exactly. That's, I think, the most important message that uh, the aspirants can take from this particular discussion, what Dr. Haswati has said. I mean, you have to do questions every day because that's how you fine tune yourself. You know, that's how you, I would say, keep consistency with respect to your skills so great doc that's been very nice so we'll just take it off beat i mean a favorite uh, dish is of yours favorite food item or whatever <laughs> favorite dish i think is biryani okay good 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 uh, the chicken yeah. one or the mutton one <laughs> Chicken. Okay, great, great, great. That's very nice. I mean, Hyderabad is famous for uh, uh, biryani. Yes, sir. Actually, I've lived in Hyderabad. So. Oh, great. Oh, great, great, great. Mm. 
and uh, what about you know uh, i mean i understand you know you were studying very hard but then to keep yourself entertained and to keep the stress levels down uh, can we know dr swati's favorite movie of this particular year or last year or any television shows that you were watching to uh, keep yourself uh, favorite movie this tell i the office i think i've been watching it for a while now and it's on repeat and yeah great great and were, were, did you subscribe to netflix also and were watching any any shows or yes i yes i am actually i i watch read i think shows very consistently throughout my preparation so okay okay so that that's that, there yes yes i think that that would definitely reduce uh, the stress levels so doc one more uh, advice i wanted yes, from sir, you uh, i mean i i i got a query from one of the doctors he said like when i study i put a music on so uh, is it like okay. one should be studying with music on like he says that that increases my concentration but then my mind wavers a lot also so is that a right approach i think it's personal choice sir but uh, yeah there are some sorts of music that really do increase your concentration i do use music but that's when i'm very sleepy and i know it's going to make my efficiency better <laughs> okay so can you can you just share with us those those uh, i mean any any app that you were using or uh, i mean any anything which you think was relaxing you from the music perspective I think uh, Spotify. I think I was using. Spotify, yeah, I think I I listen to a lot of Bollywood and okay. just uh, you know instrumentals. Okay, it can be really good. Ah, uh, so Doc, like, when did you actually start preparing? I mean, uh, you got eight hundred last time. So I mean, like, uh, one option is that you one starts feeling relaxed. So I mean, w- what's the exact time when you said that? Okay, I'm gonna go for this preparation, or I'm gonna crack this exam for sure. Uh, I think I just started preparing. I didn't know that I had this in me actually when I started preparing. So when I gave NEET PG, I got eighty thousand rank something last time. So okay, so when I started preparing, I knew I had to get better. And only when I started, you know, started giving GTS consistently, and I saw that my rank was going up. And I think the real game changer was when I gave the last time, and I got eight hundred. I was like, okay, I can really do this. <laughs> so. Okay. So, uh, doc, like uh, you were using Preplatter app. So, any feature that you found was useful, or like you know that helped you uh, get get an edge over others. Any any feature that you liked, especially? Yes, sir. So, first of all, I want to talk about GTS because I was giving a lot of GTS on Preplatter, and I think the questions were really good. And these, I, I mean, recently the clinical questions have increased a lot, and I think uh, it's getting a lot better. and uh, there was there were also these clinical videos that were being put up um, yeah, yeah, yeah. so i think that was very very uh, useful i think very essential for uh, today's learning and today's type of exams and uh, the recent uh, i think i think the most recent update the clinical simulations yes, yes yes i think i'm loving it even after my exam i'll continue to do them because they're they're so much fun <laughs> Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. That's great. That's great, dog. So I mean, uh, approximately. And sir, I think I. Okay, so like average, do you think like how many months are required to you know, uh, go through the I videos think, of nineteen uh, nineteen subjects? I think uh, eight to nine months is a good. I think uh, for preparation, but we had a very prolonged phase of one and a half years. Okay. <laughs> so. <laughs> I know. I I, know. I got to revise multiple times. So. I think your batch would be the one that has got the longest uh, incubation period per se with respect to the exam. Yes. <laughs> I mean, it's never happened. We always had pre-postponements, pre-postponements. We never had postponements. You know, that's the first time that it has happened. So, couple of guys were very angry about it, and they were like, "No, sir, we can't wait that long." But then it's okay. I think we can uh, manage. We can manage. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Okay, doc. Uh, like uh, you said, approximately nine months or so. So, what were the subjects that you were giving more importance to? I understand all nineteen are important, but then, like, uh, how did you go about? Uh, I mean, like, first month, what did you do? Second month, like, could you, did you have any schedule in place for doing a subject, some timetable like that? Yes. So, uh, initially, I was trying to finish my uh, portions. So, I think it took. I think that took about five to six months, completing first reading. properly and uh, revising i make a schedule and usually stick to it so so i would make a schedule and i think big subjects i would give like 2 3 days and every short subject not more than one day 
and uh, i would i would complete it by that time and if i did not then i would not try to do it the next day i would just finish the next day's portion or whatever is scheduled and then try to even, and if i finish that early then i would try to catch up with my old stuff so just like that okay so i i'll just speak about my subject medicine i mean how many days did it, did it take you to complete the entire medicine part uh, when you did it for the first time i think about i i don't really remember but i think 15 to 20 days 15 to 20 days okay so i mean how many hours of lectures every day 6 to 8 hours only yeah okay okay so it's like you get up in the morning and you start watching videos then take a break then go for videos yeah. or is it like you just continuously watch 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 binge watch till you drop and then you go back and do that i mean what was your strategy i mean breaking it into small parts or yes, like sir, I, i actually uh, took i think i was watching live class okay okay so so i this was an add on actually okay so uh, doc any messages that you have for uh, or any advice that you have for your juniors uh, so that they can you know i think ace? yes sir i think just be consistent with your work and just put in your effort and you'll get there it's not as hard as it seems you can definitely do it yes 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 that's that's very nice that's very nice so yes. doc it's been great talking to you and uh, thank you for your yes, sir. Uh, Uh, advices and tips that you have given to the aspirants about uh, their preparation yes. and uh, i wish you the very best for your brilliant future yes sir thank you so much and thank you so much sir i got to learn a lot from you and especially the i think the last covid videos that you, you were putting up were very very essential and very useful okay 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 the youtube ones okay okay yes yes, yes. sure 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 it's been a pleasure talking to you doc take care bye bye and god bless Thank you sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank, Thank you. you.